And what do you see when the lights come up but a Bacchanalian, satanic-ish? The government, the X and I, has decided from a political point of view that they're going to welcome Shiny back with colors. So they're going to own the moment and they're going to make it really a cool, amazing thing. So imagine full production, right? The Klieg lights, the waving banners, a stadium full of people as out of the skies descends a spaceship which features our hero who we've not met through 22 songs. And down comes his pod. So as his pod is descending out of the sky, three people sing the song in its first three movements. Who are the singers? June as she tumbles into the sun. One is Ruby, somewhere out there looking for Shiny, knowing that Shiny is landing. And then the third person who sings about Shiny's descent is Osira, who's hidden in the crowd and is still being hunted by the X and I. So they're existentially represented. So you hear three different perspectives on Shiny's return as the ship comes down. And then there's a musical break. And finally, the door opens and out steps Shiny, who's supposed to be 75 years old. But lo and behold, Shiny hasn't aged a day. For some reason, he's the same age he was when he went up in the pod. So he's basically 20 years younger than he should be. He steps out. He has no idea what's happening. (laughs) He steps out to a rally of 60,000 people in a stadium with full production, full lights. Now, you remember when he left, he was like, get out of here. You're gone. Go up into outer space. You're no longer welcome here on on the beautiful sanitized planet planet Earth. And now the the craft opens, he steps back. He has no idea why he's coming back. All he knows is he was on a suicide mission with the March of Life. He was at the perihelion of the sun, meaning if he went a step further, he would burn up and die, never to come back. His ship turns around. He sees other ships going the other direction. He has no idea what's happening there. He floats all the way back to Earth. He lands. It's uh, months later from where we left off the story. So for the first time, there's a real time break in the story because it's taken time for Shiny's ship to come back. And he steps out and looks around and goes, what the hell is happening? But He's a smart guy, and he realizes it's a hero's welcome, so he's going to play along. Okay, so Shiny looks around. The X and I is standing there, but they're wearing ceremonial robes. He's obviously welcome back. People are cheering. There's a microphone, and the head of the X and I kind of does the thing like, it's all yours. So wait, he's come back out of space after 20 years in exile. He's welcome back. They're happy he's back, and they're giving him an open microphone to say whatever he wants to say. Let's play a little quick parlor game. If that was you, what would you say in that moment? Shiny can go up and be, hey, cool, kumbaya, great to see you. It's all good. Check in with you later. Or I'm a revolutionary, and just because you brought me back doesn't mean I've lost any of my vinegar, and I'm going to let you know what I really think for wasting 20 years of my life. And hey, go, you know, what yourselves. Because he's got a live television feed, and there's 60,000 people, and he's fully aware, at least from the world that he left, that whatever he says can't be stopped. So what does he do? He goes up, he looks around, he puts his finger in the air psychologically, catches which way the wind's blowing, and he says something very benign and very open-ended, but is positive. Thank you very much. It's so nice to be back. You know, I look forward to the future, something like that. 